Don't question the nod. He's going to be aggressive. Casey Fields holds on tight to win in the third round of the bareback riding competition on his way to a world title at the National Finals Rodeo, or NFR, in Arlington, Texas. I wasn't going to let COVID, whether you believe it's made up or not, I'm not going to let that phase me. Even with coronavirus case numbers surging in Texas, Field says the finals had to go ahead. This is America. We're free. If you want to go out and you want to go to the rodeo, go to the rodeo. It's up to you. That's your own personal opinion. We're tough cowboys, and if we get a runny nose and a cough, you know, we'll be all right. In nearby Fort Worth, rodeo fans are shopping for cowboy hats and boots with Christmas just around the corner. Everybody coming into the venue has to have their temperature checked. So what you do is you walk up to this. As you can see, my temperature is 97.9 degrees Fahrenheit. But if your temperature is consistently over 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, then you're not allowed inside the venue. The organizers of the Cowboy Christmas event also made face masks mandatory, and the venue was only allowed to be half full. I think we've gone over and above, uh, you know, working with the local authorities, working with Fort Worth. Uh, I think we've gone over and above, and I think our fans and our exhibitors feel comfortable. But walking around the stalls, plenty of people are ignoring the mask rule, and nobody seems to be enforcing it either. The NFR is, is, it is our Super Bowl of rodeo. For exhibitors like Randy Bloomer, whose Texas-based company makes these gleaming horse trailers, it's a sales bonanza he says he can't afford to miss. These masks are terrible. I'll just say it. Everybody thinks it, but nobody gets a chance to say it. They sweat your face. <laughs> you forget to put them on and you have somebody come by and remind you all the time and then you feel bad for not wearing it. You know, if that's, that's all it takes to be here, it's just a small price to pay. The rodeo reached its climax over the weekend. Competitors and horses now heading home after a tough week of competition. But the week also saw COVID-19 hospitalizations in the local county soaring to a record high, with case numbers climbing too. Giles Gibson for CGTN in Fort Worth, Texas.